Good morning, folks. We've got a couple announcements and a couple good articles today. But as we watch plasma dancing on the south polar crown of the sun, let's start with our star. And we'll find the last 24 hours continued with small C-class flaring at the northern departing active region. The coronal hole stream from the south hasn't yet arrived, so we do expect that today, along with at least one of the small CMEs released by the northern flaring the last several days, all expected to be pretty mild in terms of space weather impact. We are seeing a slight development of the incoming sunspots. We've now got small but growing active regions north and south of the near equatorial largest umbra. We'll have eyes on them. Up first today, folks, guess who's back on Twitter? Link to it is in the description box. Space Weather News at Sun Weatherman. We'll try not to get permanently banned on this account like I did on the last one. No promises. And we're off to our first article of the day. Like a dripping faucet, they've come in. The solar forcing of the terrestrial condition. Strongest correlation here, found with the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. Those drips have pretty much made a full bucket over the last several years. Learn more about what you won't hear on the nightly news in our climate playlist listed below the video. Those with our latest book likely remember this one, the tropical hydroclimate event 6,000 years ago. There was indeed a major shift on the half-cycle event, and while it was the greenest of the green Saharan periods, we now know where the shift took that water away. While it was a green Sahara, the new paper here describes how in the Indo-East Asian region, that event marked the abrupt end of the Holocene humid period. This is probably the most unique of the known Heinrich events, since it's the only one that occurred during an interglacial period, which we've been in for 12,000 years, as opposed to the glacial period, which endured for nearly 100,000 years before. Key takeaway, more evidence here of the major shift at the 6,000 years ago mark. Quick reminder, tomorrow's the groundbreaking ceremony at Observer Ranch. Long time coming, but the start of a great future, and if you aren't in the Colorado area now, we do hope to see you out there next year when we hope to officially open to the public. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the links below the video in the description box for much more. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.